Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to give you a long term review of the Ryobi Pole Saw Cordless Trimmer. Now this item consists of two parts. It consists of the extension part here which fits your 18 volt batteries and that is your extension pole and it's got a release here and as you can see this has been used and you can extend that to probably about four meters I'll put the length up on the screen for you just to make sure I get this right but it does extend quite long as you can see there and it locks into any position that you like and it locks in tight I've never had any problems with this and I have used this quite a bit. This has had quite a bit of use. I don't think I ever did an unboxing video of this for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I wasn't doing YouTube videos at the time or maybe I just forgot I was too busy. But I have had this for a few years and that is the pole part. And this bit here is the trimmer part that attaches to the pole there. Now you can also get different attachments for this pole and we might look at some of those in another video. I've only got one more attachment for it and I'll probably do a review on that down the line. Today we're going to have a look at the pole trimmer which is basically a tiny little 8 inch chainsaw that you attach to the end of the pole. There's a filling point here to add your chainsaw oil to the um, head of this to keep the actual cutting blade oiled and you do need to keep this topped up otherwise you will blunt your teeth really really fast. As I said I've had this for years and I have used it to trim the plants out the front of my house. I have also used it on several jobs I don't normally like doing tree trimming jobs for people. There's people that do that sort of stuff. But I will trim smaller trees and all that sort of stuff for customers that ask me to do it. Especially if they're regular customers of mine. Now this just slips in there. And you've got to line it up correctly. And then you tighten up your collar. And I'm doing this in real time and it locks in fairly tight as you can see there. Let's add a battery to the end and actually make it work. So it's got a safety here. You can't pull the trigger without releasing the safety first. Which makes a lot of sense because you don't want to be cutting your fingers off with this thing. It is razor sharp and it cuts really well. I have cut quite large branches with it. I don't remember what the size specifications are off the top of my head. And I'll put those up on the screen for you. Just in case you're interested what the maximum branch size is that you can cut with this comfortably. From past experience I used the 5 amp hour batteries with this and look it goes for ages like it really goes for a long time. I can trim like a whole tree or two or three trees small trees without ever changing the battery. It goes for a long time. It's really quite power efficient. So let's see what it does. So I'm going to release the safety and then I'll press the button. So as you can see there, it works quite well. It does have a bit of a sound of power if you ask me, like it does sound quite powerful and it is for what it is. These battery powered tools are quite amazing and look these aren't professional tools that I would recommend for professional tree cutters to be using. However if you're cutting your trees around your property or if you're doing the odd job like myself maybe once a month or twice a month or something like that this will be perfectly adequate and I mainly bought this to trim my own trees on my own property and let's go outside and trim the trees up out the front of my property and I'll show you how well this does work.
Now as you saw in the video, this works well, it gave no issues at all, it dealt with the job easily and I just used one battery in the whole process, in the whole job. And as you can see here, you can see the before and after photos of the job. This is what the trees looked like before I trimmed them and here you can see what they look like after I was done. Now if you have any questions about anything you saw in today's video, do me a favour and leave your question down below and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting or useful, do me a favour and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.